Hi everyone, welcome back for workout four of our lockdown series. I hope everyone had a good weekend and that everyone is still healthy and safe. What we're going to be doing today, we're going to be doing five warm-up exercises. So we're going to do the same four that we did in the previous video. Uh, we're going to be doing hip cars, shoulder cars. We're going to be doing our side split rocker, our T-spine on the bench or couch. And then we're going to be doing one new one, which I'll show you after I run through the first four. So if you need a description of what to do for the first four, just look back in the other videos. I'm just going to run through them quickly, just to loosen up before the workout. Here we go. the first four warm-up exercises we've done five in both directions on both sides for the shoulder cars we've done five both directions on both sides for the hip cars we've done ten side split rockers per side and we've done ten t-spines on the bench or couch we're going to do one more exercise just to get warmed up before we start the workout for today all right seriously all he wants to do is stand right in front of the camera so you can't see anything that I'm trying to show you. So what we're going to do is we're going to get into a lunge type position. So we're going to start in what's called a warrior lunge. We're going to try to get a big distance between our front foot and our back knee. And we're going to lunge forward, try to open up our hamstring on the front here into our groin. And then our hip flexor in the, in the front of the back leg. Once you feel a good stretch here, we're going to hold for two to three seconds just to get a nice little stretch. And then from this position, what we're going to do is we're going to shift backwards, make sure we're going to want our heel in the front leg here, and we're just going to try to go into a hamstring stretch for the front leg. So the first part of the exercise, we're going to stretch our hip flexor on the back leg, then we're going to lean back, feel a hamstring stretch on the front leg, and then we're going to go back in to the warrior lunge to hit that, that back leg in the, the front of the back leg there, the hip flexor. And then we're gonna lean back again into that hamstring. And we're just gonna repeat. So we're gonna do five for the back leg and then five for the hamstring in the front leg. And we're just gonna repeat the same thing on the other side once we're done all five. Okay, so that's five on both directions. Now what we're going to do is we're going to switch sides. So we're going to put our other leg in the front. We're going to lean forward till we feel a good stretch of the hip flexor in the back leg. And then what we're going to do after we've held that for two to three, two to three seconds, we've got that good stretch. We're going to lean back until we feel a stretch in the hamstring in the front leg. And then we're going to push back forwards. And we're just going to kind of ebb and flow back and forth until we've done five for both positions. So 
those are our five warm-up exercises for today. Now we're ready to get into the workout. Today's workout is supposed to be somewhat of an easier workout. We are going to be doing what's called straight sets, meaning we're going to be doing one exercise, we're going to do all three sets for that exercise before going on to the next one. And today we're not doing for time, we're doing for reps, except for one exercise. So we're going to start with reverse lunges. Everybody knows how much I love reverse lunges and how much nobody else likes them. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be doing 10 to 15 per side and then taking a one to two minute break before doing our second set, another break, and then our third set before moving on to the next exercise. So just a refresher, what we want to do for our reverse lunge, we want to squeeze our glutes at the top. Turk is currently licking the tripod stand. I think he wants to get out of the gym. We're going to take a big step backwards till our knee touches the ground and then we're going to come back up and squeeze our glutes. If you can't do 10 to 15 reps, that's totally okay. You can just stop where you're comfortable or use something to give yourself a little bit of balance or maybe a stick or something that you can pull on to get through all the reps. But what we're going to do is we're going to do our 10 to 15, both sides, take a break and then go back. As you can see, he's whining, he wants to get out of here. So let's get started. So that's 15 per side. Now I'm going to take a one to two minute break and then I'm going to repeat that twice more. Turk is just not having it today. I think he's going to be heading upstairs now. Hey, eh? you don't want to work out today? You had enough? All right. Sadly, I've lost my assistant for today. I think he's holding out for a better contract. The next exercise we're going to be doing, we're going to be lying on our front. They're called flutter kicks. We're going to be doing them with our arms. So this is for your upper back and back of the shoulders. So we're going to be lying face down on a mat or a carpet, something comfortable. We're going to put our arms out into a wide position with our thumbs facing the ceiling. And all we're going to do is we're going to raise our arms off the ground and then we're going to do slight flutter kicks like you would be doing with your feet if you are swimming. And this one we're going to do for 20 to 30 seconds. So what we're going to be doing again, we'll lie down, arms go up, and we're just going to flutter kick. So you should feel that kind of in your upper back, uh, kind of where that T-spine area is that we try to stretch out at the beginning of the workout. 20 to 30 seconds, now we're going to rest for about a minute or two, and then we're going to repeat for two more sets for three sets total. Next up, we're going to be doing what's called a hip bridge. I'm sure most of you have done this with me before. All we're going to do is lie down on our back, bring our heels towards our butt. We don't want to go super wide and we don't want to go super close, just kind of in line with our hips. Arms to the side. And all we're going to do is hump the ceiling by pushing our hips up to the ceiling through our heels and squeezing our glutes at the top should create somewhat of a plank of your body from your knees to your shoulders. Hold for about a second just until you feel your glutes contract and then back down. And then we're going to repeat that for 15 reps. Right now we're just trying to work through stiffness from sitting too much. This is a great exercise to put you into hip extension. When you're sitting all the time, it's hip flexion. You're going to get tight in the front of the hips here. The glutes are going to get lazy from sitting on them. 
So we're just trying to connect to those glutes, get them firing, and to put us in hip extension, try to loosen up a little bit. The next exercise today is an advanced version of the push-up. So if you have trouble doing them from the floor or you can't do them from the floor, make sure you're doing them from an elevated position, either on a chair or a couch or a countertop. What we're going to be doing today is instead of the regular push-up, we're going to be doing what's called a diamond push-up. So we're going to be positioning our hands like so on the ground or the place that we're doing our push-ups from. This forces us to use our triceps more than our chest and our shoulders, so it's a little bit more challenging. We're going to be doing 10 to 15 reps, so just use a position that allows you to get that many reps. And then we're going to be doing a minute to break in between each set, three sets total, before moving on to the last exercise for today. So let's get started. Technique-wise, everything stays the same. We're keeping the elbows tucked in into an A position. We want to make sure we're not flaring out to the side. We want to keep our shoulders down and back and keep our torso and our legs, everything rigid. We want to be moving as one. Last up today, we're going to do what's called a bird dog. Again, this is another one that's great for posture, especially if you've been sitting too much. Great for your upper back, lower back, and glutes. And also a little bit of core as well and just working on stability. So for the bird dog, what we're going to do is we're going to get into all four, similar to what we do for our hip curves. What we're going to do is we're going to brace our core by flexing our stomach. And what we're going to do is we're going to raise one arm and the opposite leg straight in front and behind us. So we're going to raise our left arm and our right leg straight out. Squeeze the glutes. You should feel some slight activation in your shoulder and your upper back and then bring it down to the start position we're going to do 10 on one side 10 on the other one thing you want to focus on is not over arching your back so you don't want to squeeze your lower back up and we don't want to be wobbling all over so you want to try and remain as rigid as possible through your torso and through your core for the whole movement okay so again we're going to do 10 per side three sets minute to two minutes break in between, and this is our last exercise for today. you should feel it in your abs. You want to squeeze the glute at the top. Think about pushing the wall in front of you and the wall behind you away from you. Rather than thinking about height, we want to think about extension. You should feel this kind of across the shoulder to that glute and then on the other side across the shoulder to the glute. That's it for today. Five exercises for the warm-up, five exercises for the workout, three sets for everything, one to two minute breaks in between. Hopefully it was a little bit easier than the other couple workouts that we've done so far, just to get you guys moving again after the weekend. I'm sure I'll give you an extra hard one next workout, we'll see. And sorry that Turk wasn't in this video and you had to watch just me giving you the instructions. I'm sure it was not as fun. See you in the next one, guys.